And first here tonight at 5, potential cuts at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base at a time that some leaders say we can least afford them. A top-ranking congressman warned of those possible budget issues after touring the base today. Jordan Burgess is asking questions about what those cuts would mean and what's being done to avoid them. One congressman says nobody wants to see the cuts happen, but at this point, nobody can agree on what to do to prevent them from taking place. And we wanted to know what kind of impact they could have on the country's ability to deal with the threat of ISIS in Syria and Iraq. A top-ranking congressman with concerns about what the future may hold for Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. If something isn't done to get rid of sequestration next year, it will be horrific for our military budget. Chairman of the Armed Services Committee, Congressman Buck McKeon, made those comments after a tour of the National Air and Space Intelligence Center, or NASIC, hosted by Congressman Mike Turner. Sequestration led to furloughs at Wright Pat last summer and remains in place for the 2016 budget unless cuts are found elsewhere. It is not likely that an agreement is going to be um, you know, easy as to what that offset would be, uh, but that will be necessary in order to be able to avoid it. Already, the base is preparing to cut 372 positions at the end of the month as part of an Air Force-wide headquarters reorganization. We called to see how many of those positions are currently filled, but officials say they're still working on getting that number. With sequestration looming as well, we wanted to know what this means for operations like the airstrikes against ISIS in Syria and Iraq. How does this all play into then, like you mentioned, the, the possible budget cuts in the future here or even like the ones with the command staff that are going to take place at the end of this month? I think I mentioned that you can't keep asking the military to do more while you're, while you're taking away their ability to do more. McKeon says his talks with Middle Eastern leaders indicate that ISIS is a threat even here in the U.S. They all pointed out to me that the ocean won't protect you this time. There are a lot of foreign fighters that are going to the area joining the fight of ISIL against us, and then many of them have uh, passports that they can get back into Europe or back to America. Now, the congressman expect initial talks on sequestration to begin after November's election. And coming up at 5.30, we asked the congressman their thoughts on sending troops to fight ISIS. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.